Hello, dear friends. According to a Sioux proverb, religion is for those who fear going to hell, and spirituality is for those of us who have already been there. When people are alone, they become spiritual, but when they are in company, they become religious. Life is not a technology, not a science. Life is an art, like walking a tightrope. If you accept the slavery, you create tyrants. Opinion piece. Spirituality versus religion. Spirituality unites. Religions divide. A religion is a sect. Freedom against slavery. Religion threatens and scares. Independence versus dependence. Manipulation of spirituality. Let's start. A wise man was once asked to explain the difference between religion and spirituality. His response was profound, according to Beat Patriot. Religion is not yet wrong. There are many. Spirituality is wrong. Religion is for those who sleep. Spirituality is for those who have awakened. Religion is for those who need someone to tell them what to do. Spirituality is for lovers of freedom. Religion is a fish in a bowl. Spirituality jumps into the ocean to swim free. Religion means assuming things you don't know, but the spiritual process is a free and independent search. Religion has dogmatic rules. Spirituality calls us to discuss everything, to question everything. Religion threatens and scares. Spirituality gives inner peace. Religion talks about sin and guilt. Spirituality says, learn from your mistake. Religion suppresses everything that is wrong. Spirituality transcends everything. It brings you closer to the truth. Religion talks about God. Spirituality is everything and therefore it is in God. Religion is inventing. Spirituality is finding. Religion does not tolerate any questions. Spirituality will question everything. Religion is an organization whose rules are made by human beings. Spirituality is divine, without human rules. Religion is the cause of division. Spirituality unites human beings. Religion wants you to believe. Spirituality must be stopped to be believed. Religion follows the concepts of the holy book. Spirituality seeks a vacation in all sacred books of humankind, or reads them as inspiring poetry and not as a dogma. Religion fits fear. Spirituality fits trust and faith. Religion lives in thoughts. Spirituality lives in the inner consciousness. Religion is concerned with the performance of rituals. Spirituality is related to the inner self. Religion fits the ego. Spirituality forces you to go further. Religion makes us disconnect from the world to follow God. Spirituality makes us live in God without giving up our existing life. Religion is a sect. Spirituality is an internal meditation. Religion fills us with dreams of glory in paradise. Spirituality makes us live in earthly glory and paradise. Religion lives in the past and in the future. Spirituality is living in the present. Religion creates monasteries and prisons. Spirituality frees our conscience. Religion makes us believe in eternal life. Spirituality makes us aware of eternal life. Religion promises life after death. Spirituality means fi finding God within us in our present life before transcending. We are spiritual beings going through a human experience. Differences. Religion and spirituality are related but different concepts. Religion is associated with beliefs, rituals, and institutional practices, while spirituality is more personal, refers to the connection with the sacred, the intangible, and the transcendental, and is not necessarily linked to any institution. Spirituality is independent and religion is dependent. The difference between the two 
is that religion focuses on a set of beliefs and rituals, while spirituality focuses on spiritual things, pointing to the connection with the divine and the transcendental. Spirituality points out that the physical world is not all there is, while religion points out that we need an external saver. Religion consists of the manipulation of spirituality. Spirituality refers to the intangible and immaterial, such as feelings, thoughts, experiences, and behaviors related to the soul or the search of for the sacred. Traditional religion involves accountability, while spirituality has fewer requirements. Practices. Many people find inspiration, peace, and meaning in natural environments, which can contribute to their spiritual development. Spirituality in nature can be found through connection with the natural environment and appreciation is and appreciating its beauty and meaning. Some practices for finding spirituality in nature include paying attention, meditation in natural settings, and exploring sacred places. Spirituality can be developed without being religious through personal practices and human values. Spirituality refers to a personal search for answers about the meaning of life, the universe, and relationships with others, and may or may not include belief in a God. Cultivating spirituality in daily life includes asking deep questions, cultivating empathy, developing artistic skills, meditating in movement, practicing altruism, and keeping the question of one's identity alive. Various spiritual practices can be developed without being affiliated with a specific religion. Some of these practices include meditation and mindfulness, cultivating empathy and compassion, developing artistic skills, meditation in movement, and practicing altruism. These practices focus on personal experience and human values and do not require adherence to any religion. This is a little repetition. Breaking news. The Wall Street Journal tells citizens to confront food inflation by skipping meals. Top computer programmers want that self-aware computers can attack and crash the system. The British government labels Josh Orwell, Aldous Huxley, and William Shakespeare as extremists. Alex Jones breaks down how a government unit in the UK has labeled several English writers as triggers of extremism. Protests. Western leaders are afraid to meet with angry farmers. The farmers are starting to win. The shelves in Belgium are becoming empty. In Poland, farmers in 260 cities are protesting in front of, in front of town halls because they have they have n nowhere to sell the food they produce. Polish warehouses are full of Ukrainian grains and um, more are coming. Farmers are not only protesting across Europe, including England, but they are also protesting in places like Canada and India. Fishermen and truck drivers also join the protests. The EU leadership is reacting by introducing a totalitarian health treaty without consulting governments or citizens. Davos calls for the death of millions of dogs and cats to reduce the carbon footprint. Emma Thompson even suggests that owners eat their pets. Special Counsel Robert Hart has declined to prosecute President Joe Biden because he's mentally unfit to stand the trial. Singapore celebrated the year with a flying dragon made up of 1,500 drones. Putin confirms that he reached an agreement with George Bush Sr. to jointly develop missile technology whose only possible target would be China, but this plan was sabotaged. Putin told Carlson that humankind faces many threats. Due to genetic research, it is now possible to create superpowered human beings and at least a scientist or a little soldier. Putin says that Tucker Carlson could be arrested after his interview in the Kremlin. 
in quotes, the arrests of the journalist would be good for people to understand that the modern liberal democratic dictatorship is because they would show his true face, says president. The rumor is that Russia has developed a satellite death weapon. This information is more than 30 years old. They are beating the drums of war to try to justify a major military campaign in the near future. Michael Schneider thinks that if stock prices are going to start sinking just because inflation is a little hotter than expected, what's going to happen once the market finally realizes that the entire economy is starting to collapse? Fall apart at the seams, at the seams, he asked. The crime rate and commercial real estate crisis are rising, while banks are in serious financial trouble. Large corporations are carrying out mass layoffs, and homeless has increased at the fastest rate ever recorded. Norway is one of the happiest countries in the world. The 2023 World Happiness Report indicates that Norway is the seventh country with the happiest inhabitants in the world. Spain is ranked 32nd. Its secret is as simple as life outdoors. It consists of going out into nature at the slightest opportunity, doing physical activities outdoors and feeling the sun on your skin. Escaping into nature has become the habit for Norwegians. Clean air and physical activity outdoors are the ingredients for the success of this Norwegian habit. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.